Oh, 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 big dog. Ah. Rims. Get out of my face with that bird imposter looking motherfucker. What's up, guys? I am back. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been around. I've been absolutely flat out with work. Uh, hopefully, Rex has been filming heaps. I haven't had a chance to go through any footage, so I have no idea how much he's been filming of this thing, but uh, he's been very busy. Um, so hopefully he's been filming a lot and there's been a lot of good content. But uh, I've got one day here today in which we've got to do a heap of moving stuff around. So <laughs> hopefully i get a little bit of time to film. As you can see, the whole crew's together. The whole Let Labs crew pretty much is you together for the first time in, you know, who God knows how long. We've got Rex, me, Liam's here, and even Adam is somewhere doing something. <laughs> so uh, pretty cool to everyone here at the moment. As you can see, Rex has been busy as with this. It's uh, coming together pretty well. We'll film some of that later on. So yeah, like I said, uh, like you all know, we were buying this dyno and uh, with it came like a whole heap of stuff. So we've been pretty busy sorting that out as well. I've been I've, I've, like moving house at the moment too. So between work, all of this stuff, heaps of stock in there as well. We did a load the other weekend. Um, so yeah, between all this, moving house and work at the moment, I've just been absolutely flat out. Sorry guys, but at least uh, Rex is still making content. So there's still content being made, which is cool, which is very good. So big ups to Rex for keeping the channel going at the moment because uh, I've not really had that much time. I have so much footage to go through. Unless you bought another GoPro and gave it to some other people around the place. God, you're so cheap. You always want me to buy everything, aren't you? <laughs> buy your own freaking GoPro. <laughs> Nah, fuck that off with your cruiser in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fucking actually sick. I swear it was made for it. Nah, yeah. it looks. It was. Are you impressed by the engine bay and stuff? Mild, mildly. mildly. Yeah, it's nice. Mildly. <laughs> Did you have a look at the paint on the roof? Yeah. Not really? Yeah. And oh, have a look how the guards no, came I'm out. I'm not tall enough to see the roof, you dog. Have a look how the guards came out, Adam. You know how you know how bad these guards were. I do. Yeah, they come out. What? North. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> no, no. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. Shut the fuck up! So, are we gonna put some fucking bolt on 25mm wheel spaces on it now? No. Oh. So, for like the whole two weeks I've been away just like working, um, it has pretty much been raining every day. Uh, this is literally actually the first clear day we've had in probably nearly two weeks. The whole place, like the dams are full, that dam's full, the gully's full, that dam up the back there's half full. Um, the place is just. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the place is just going ape shit. Like all of the grass is just going nuts. It's all so green. It's um like I was saying, I, I say that all the time. It's amazing how green this place actually get when we have some rain. So um yeah, it's looking pretty nice out here lately. Uh, up there where there's a big of a hole where old mate dug them rocks out, there's a uh, dammed up there as well. We've got a new dam apparently. So obviously because of the rain, we haven't been able to clear up all that. That's why there's still you know trees and crap all over the place because of this ground it gets so soft in the rain. We can't operate the machinery when it's wet because it just makes a mess. So. Uh, plus Rex has been having to fix the posi track. Um, it's had a bad leak in the belly pan of the posi track, so Rex has been busy fixing that so that we can actually start getting in and cleaning the place up. So, but like I said, um, so we've got like today, tomorrow me and Rex go off to Gladstone. Um, we're going to work for a week and then when we get back, it'll be all systems go on actually getting the dyno out here, getting this place cleaned up. We have so much stuff to do, crazy amount of crap to do, but look how good this thing looks. Beadlocks. I like your little 90 degree fittings on that. That's nice. Yeah, they were brass. I had to paint them too. Oh, really? Yeah. Brass, brass everything. Paint, paint everything. Paint all the things. Every single yeah. like nut and bolt. Everything. Yeah. Like radiator, just the little radiator bolts. I had to paint them. You painted the whole top of the radiator. And I painted the, the radiator too. Yes. Painted everything. Yeah, I heard it's fucking yeah. wild. I mean, I painted everything, but I didn't paint my radiator. <laughs> That's fucking pretty wild. Well. Sally, now, yeah, now yeah. who's mine's, the dumbass? Mine's polished, Sally, and it would flake off. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Look at this. Have you ever seen a 31 coil lead management like that, Liam? Um, yeah, but the individual coils in there, I make them. And oh, yeah, I mean, coil lead management <laughs> like that <laughs> from the Dizzy. Yeah, they're, they're pretty twin snorkels, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a proper fuckhead, eh? As soon as he gets on them cruisers, eh? He gets half a cruiser into him. Yeah, yeah fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> TD42! So, Liam, how's your 31 going? Oh, pretty good. It's almost ready to go on the track. If I just push it out there, it'll be right. <laughs> ready to get hit by everyone. How's your yeah. beer going, Adam? Holy fucking hell. Look at that. See? 
How stupid can you get? So you I would not be drinking out of that. I know. I'm like, I'm just holding it like it's. it's oh. I'll drink it. Probably tastes like shit up. If cool. you are gonna drink it, make sure you sift it through your teeth. Like, do you have a cup? No. Do you have a glass? <laughs> Got an oil bottle. Fuck man, it's like a fresh beer, like it's brand new. Like. And it's already broken. <laughs> I'm itching. <laughs> <laughs> You are, Fuck off. He started before me. He's already drunk. He's had one he's, drink. He's actually, yeah, no. He, well, that's his second my fourth. One. That's his. Oh, is that fourth. the fourth? So I told I'm, you we'd have to stop at the bottle, you yeah. fuck. Twin snorkels. Twin snorkels. <laughs> <laughs> he's had one. Pink fucking cruises. <laughs> we got them in Kilcoy and the guy was like really just sus didn't, and arsed. Didn't, oh. didn't want to have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. And he's just like scanned it and didn't say anything. <laughs> Put it through with F-Boss and he's like. Get the bag out, puts it in the back. I'm sure you assume you're buying it for your underage girlfriend, you fucking predator. <laughs> See, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's kill coin. Just because I have teeth. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Rude. Um, O2 bung. So, we've got Just a bung in, in there for our fire gauge. Just in case someone it's wants it. It's not me. any tighter because then it's crooked. <laughs> How's that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it, ha it has to stay there. 31 things. <laughs> oh. What's going on here, eh? Bloody nonsense. Nonsense, he says. So yeah, we actually had a hard line in the posi track develop a little pinhole in the um, in a, one of the hard hydraulic lines to the cooler, so it was pissing out hydraulic fluid. Which is not good, so fixing that because we heavily rely on this machine around here. Adam's daily looking pretty gravy these days. Look how full this freaking dam is, it's awesome. Hasn't been that full in so long. Probably like at least 18 months I reckon I've seen it this full. So, I'm stoked, the ducks are stoked. Well, yeah, you can see how apeshit the grass has gone. And like, this is just, in not very long at all, like, probably three weeks ago, it was just all pretty much barren and, and like, not dead, but it wasn't growing. And then, you know, a couple of weeks of rain and then some sun, boom, just goes apeshit. And we've still got trees like this laying around all over the place, which we obviously, once the posi track's sorted and we get a, a, a time, a bit of time when we're not at work, so when we get home from work next week and we're not moving the dyno and stuff, Somewhere in there, we've got to find time to actually cut the cut them up with the saw and and get rid of them. So, so much tying up. Look at this. Look at this grass. And these are uh, absolute retards. Smash my car. Oh, uh, sorry. You want to beat? You want to beat? So Adam's pulling out the cluster out of this car. Oh god, don't you know how they work? Oh, I'm pulling the car. Don't no, pull it, you push it, it you moron. I've got it, you spongy. Oh, there's no seat for me to sit on. Fuck yeah, is there any no. nuggets in there? I actually sold the seats. Oh. <clears throat> Fuck off. Oh, it's already unbolted. Yeah, cool. I already unbolted it. Didn't need to bend that one. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a smart guy. Fuck, it's hot. So you did really? sell the seats. You reckon? You yeah. just figured that out? No, I didn't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's been hot like all day. No, but extremely, the heat coming out of this vehicle is <laughs> astonishing. No, yeah, I sold the seats. Oh, I got a spare key. Hold on a minute. Cross. <laughs> Did you put that in the, the video? Yeah, gone. yeah, yeah. You wait, you yeah, wait. So it's now, hilarious. Now when this video comes out, everybody will be like, Ha ha, that's right, dickhead. Duh, oh, you can spell your own name, Adam. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Still got your backpack on, you fucking goober. <laughs> I'm ready, ready to fucking go. Though. Yeah, I learnt that one only Gold a year ago. Fuck. So I actually reckon Adam's got more value out of this car than I have. And how what much have I money is he giving you for it? Actually, a fair bit. I made I made him pay for all the other stuff he took. Whoa. And I made, oh no, I didn't make him pay. That's right. I made him swap. Yeah, um, the spare clutch pedal. So I got a clutch pedal. That'll be yeah, fifteen bucks. The, the GX eighty one pedal or yeah. whatever it was. 
So anyway, as I'm pretty sure we explained in the last video, Adam's car is um, that his cluster doesn't actually work and he was never sure whether it was actually a wiring issue or the cluster itself, because these clusters do have a, a habit of, you know, shit in the bed. So he decided to pinch the one out of this car to try it in his to see if it's actually his cluster or not. Uh, maybe give him some idea of what the hell's going on so he can try and get his speedo and his fuel gauge and all that sort of stuff working maybe. Speedo works. Speedo works. Just no, uh, no RPM, taco. Yeah, yeah. Or water temp, which is probably nice to know. Mildly. Mildly. Yeah. So, stealing some stuff. Anyway, Trump. I'm not going to stay down here because it's hot and I'm getting sunburned. I'm going to end up the same colour as this shirt. So, I'm going to go back up to the shed in the shade and keep doing what I was doing. And you just can fluff around down here. Touch each other's bums. Well, yeah. It's I mean, that's probably what he's in too, but... Fuck off. Oh, either way, what, you got you got to pull the cluster out. It'll take you like five minutes. Hurry up. Yeah. Why have we even been down here for this long already? I was going to take that shit out. So. Oh, yeah, Adam found the, the glove box lid on the pasta shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the pasta shelf pasta. So, Rex is being a show-off. So, the thermo fans don't work anymore. Don't worry about that. It's only pissing out. It's a Chev. Uh, uh, so do you reckon JZ starters are bad? Chev starters are. No, JZ starters just stop working all of a sudden. They're like, okay, there's nothing wrong with me, and then all of a sudden you like start, and it's like, dick. No. They don't make. Yeah. So pretty sure it's hydrolock with fuel. And that's pretty much where it's gonna be until this motor comes out. So the plan is to take all the running gear out of this car and uh, it's gonna get a turbo big block on the 85 and get put into another H series. So we'll go into detail about this car one day. It's one of those things that sort of just sat here and uh, one day we'll go through the whole story of this car because it's been with us for a very long time. It's got a lot of history. Rightio, so now we're just gonna have to unload all this crap out of the trailer and the cruiser, which is gonna be very boring, so we're not gonna make any footage of that, so we're gonna go do that before it rains. No, no time lapse. That would be a very boring time lapse. Unloading the trailer. Rightio, so we've unloaded all our stuff, um, so that's all in the container. Uh, we actually need to go through and catalog it all one day, because <laughs> there's so much crash in there. So much stuff in there. Uh, we, yeah, we definitely need to go through and actually catalog it and store it properly one day. But for now, it's out of the weather, out of the trailer, in the container, where it can stay for now. Uh, the boys have left, um, so they got what they, Radham got what he wanted out of the Crusader. Um, so that was pretty cool to have them out there here for the, day, for the day. Can't even talk at the moment, what's wrong with me? So, it was pretty cool to have them out here for the day. Uh, but they've gone, they've headed back to the coast. And so now, Rex just did a big clean up of the shed. I've been working on this head, we're doing this head for a customer at the moment. Um, some bloke from that runs a shop somewhere in Mergen, so he wants a full reconditioned head, so start on this head at the moment. I was hoping to get this head to the machine shop to get him to, to skim it and crack test it while I was away. That's not going to happen, but I'll, uh, I'll get it dismantled and hopefully even get the valves ground out and stuff like that today. And uh, when I get back from work in a week or so's time, can get the head to the machine shop, just get it skimmed, uh, get it crack tested to make sure it's all good and uh, make sure the valves ground up and, and put it all back together and send it to old mate as a full Rico head. So. Obviously, new valve stem seals, new cam seals, all the berries. But anyway, um, again, that's nothing you've not really seen on the channel before. I did it with my build, mostly. Rex did it with his build, not even that long ago. So, again, not really going to bother filming much of this because it's just a basic head recondition. So, pretty standard stuff. It's um, run of the mill. <laughs> run, of the mill. <laughs> run of the mill. GC, run of the mill. <laughs> Righto, Mr. Burns over here. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty Mr. Burnsy, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, just um, yeah, full head recondition, regrind, relap, new valve stem seals, uh, all new lifters, and obviously clean up with the deck and a crack test, make sure it's all sweet. I got, uh, I was a bit worried when he asked me because I wasn't actually sure if I had a good cam to send with it, but we, this head did have a good cam in it, so that's good, good cam. So yeah, I'm sure I'll be stuck with that, but. I'm working on that for that, make some money, get some money in the door. Um, Rex, I don't know really what Rex is gonna do now. I think he's just gonna have a chill. Like, I don't know. I've had a pretty full on couple of weeks and 
we've got a we've got a big full on week this week at work. So As you've seen, Rex has been pretty busy, so I don't know. I'm pretty keen to sort of have a chill afternoon. That's why I'm just going to sit down and do this head um, because, yeah, we're going to have a big week this week at I work. So. I, I agree with that plan. Yeah, sit down and chill, do a head, and, uh, you know, chill out for a bit, have a bit of a relaxing afternoon before we head to work tomorrow. Proof that Mac also does stuff. What do you mean, also does stuff? Besides holds camera. Cross. <laughs> Righty, I got this head all dismantled and cleaned up, so the actual head itself is all nice and clean, or as clean as it's going to get. It degreased it four times, uh, and like I said, obviously it's got to go to the machine shop to get a resurface or a uh, just a skim and a pressure test or a crack test just to make sure it's not cracked or damaged at all. Uh, I've got all the rockers, everything dismantled in this type of degreaser, uh, just soaking, um, so they'll all clean up very nicely. Bit of degreaser. Uh, I've got the valves all out. The valves I've cleaned up on the wire brush. They're all looking pretty mint. They're going to grind up very nice. So it's like going to be a really nice head when it's done. This one. I sort of, sort of wishing I kept it. But anyway, <laughs> you get that. So they've all been cleaned up and they will grind up very nice. So all the valves are out. So they just need a quick grind as well as the seats on the exhaust side. There was a fair bit of pitting in the seats, so they need a bit of a grind on the on the head. Uh, but uh, see so yeah, how we go tonight, whether I do that tonight or whether we do that when we get the head back from the machine shop. It's one of those things where it's like the likelihood of it being damaged or uh, being cracked is very little. But at the same time, you don't want to go through all the effort of grinding down the seats and getting everything to fit, lapping the valves and getting it all right for it to just go to the machine shop and they find out that it's damaged because <laughs> then you've wasted all your time. So uh, I suppose at this time, at this point, this is the most efficient use of our time is where it is now. Uh, probably clean up all the rockers and stuff with a brush, make sure that they're immaculate. But uh, this is the most efficient way to leave it until after we get the head back from the machine shop in reality. Um, then when we get it back, we can do the grind, lap, clean it all up, assemble it with our new valve stem seals and our new lifters with our very clean parts, and it'll be ready to go. Rightio guys, so last night when we got back up from dinner, we didn't actually end up doing any more with that head. Um, same thing as I was saying last night, is it's just, uh, more time efficient to wait until it comes back from machine shop. So that's pretty much it for us for now. We are now getting ready to go to work. We're gonna leave in like a half hour or so. Um, so yeah, we'll be back after that. So thanks for watching as always, this little video of not really much, but it was cool to have all the boys together uh, for the first time in ages. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.